Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you what's in my glossy box, and I am particularly excited about this glossy box. Um, you guys know that there are a bunch of different beauty boxes out there. I personally am subscribed to Glossy Box, um, but the reason I'm so excited is because they actually featured a blogger in this month, and she actually helped pick everything out. Um, and I read her blog, it's The Manor of Heller, um, so I was very, very excited. So. These are supposedly her go-tos and her must-haves. It's kind of like an open box haul for you guys. Um, so here are her tips on winter beauty. Of course, this is a book that goes through all of the different trends. It's just like the Glossy Box magazine, whatever they do. Um, but I constantly post the contents of my Glossy Box on my Instagram and people ask. So I just wanted to show you what was in my box this month um, and what I'm excited about. And the man repeller, um, I know that sounds a little bit awkward. It's not actually to repel men though. It's not like a men repellent kit. Um, basically, her blog is about fashion and trends that men don't always understand. Um, and it's just really cute, down to earth, and fun and fashionable. So I just wanted to show you what was in mine. Um, but this month I wanted to show you some of the things that I I got. I got this fresh clay serum and this is just a sample size. This is again why I love Glossy Box is because they give you little tester sizes of these products so you can try out a bunch of things before you have to pay for the full version. Um, I am excited about this. I do like the Fresh line. I haven't used everything from them, but you guys know that clay is really good for acne. I don't know how this is going to be for other people, um, but it says it controls shine for oily skin. Um, it's so little, like I don't really know <laughs> how I'm going to be able to really test it out for a long period of time, um, but at least I can try it before I buy it. So. How fun. This I actually have the full size version of, but sample sizes are great because these go in your car and in your purse. Um, and mascara is literally that one thing that you can just throw on and along with some lip gloss, you don't even need full makeup and you look a little bit more put together than just with nothing on. Such a supreme mascara. I am so happy with this. Um, I really do like the brush. I like the formula. Um, it lasts for me. It doesn't also get on top of my eyelids, which I hate like when you blink. Um, so I'm probably gonna be using this just to throw in my car. Um, next, this is from Sebastian. This is Potion 9. I don't know anything about this. It says it is a styling treatment. Um, a styling treatment, it's a wearable styling treatment. So I'm actually gonna have to look this up in my little glossy box hand guide because I don't really know what this does. If you've used it, tell me if you like it or not. Um, but this is what it is. And it even says in here like all the little descriptions of the products. So I can figure out what this is since I have no clue. This is the Sebastian Professional. It is the versatile styling cream infused with nine botanical extracts to help restore lost moisture and rejuvenate the healthy look of your hair. Uh, perfect for styling wet or dry into multiple looks with flexible hold. That actually sounds really, really good. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried this or if you like it or not. Ah! Oh, we have Tarte in here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But this is just like a little key card that tells you um, the regular price because you're getting like sample sizes. Sometimes you get a full size, um, but it shows you the prices and the description and things like that. Um, so it says in here, I have a Tarte. Here it is. This is cruelty free. This is a Tarte lipstick. High performance naturals. This is the Glamazon. Is that not cute? And I got the color Fierce. Um, I do believe that Glossy Box, because my friend Mitty subscribes to Glossy Box, hers is sometimes a little bit different than mine. Like it's the same idea, but she'll get like a different lip shade or like a different nail polish shade or things like that. This is Glamazon and I got mine in Fierce and this is what it looks like. Oh, this is exciting. I kind of want to put it on, but then I shouldn't because I don't want to wear such bright lips with this already bright earrings. This is actually really fierce. It's a little bit large, but I actually really like this. So this is by Tarte. Um, I haven't seen this around before, so I'm assuming this is a new launch or a new product. Let me know if you like it. Oh, there's OPI. I'm obsessed with OPI, so I'm pretty sure I'm always gonna love this. This is Liquid Sand by OPI. This actually looks like one of those textured nail polishes. So I am going to have to play around with this because my nails are, oh, I'm blue, I'm blue, da 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 Okay, I'm done. Um, my nails are completely anti-polish right now, so I'm gonna have to play around, maybe put this on. Oh, it would match. I could be a sandy blue purple monster. This looks fun. Oh, okay, this is another example of what they put in your box. This is, you know, this is just like a little sample size that they let you try out. Um, this is the Replenishing Daily Solution for Moisture Rich Complex. This rich emollient formula, formula has SPF 30, it's paraben free, um, restores healthy suppness to your skin, rejuvenates and detoxifies skin. 
Um, from Neiman Marcus, this is Le Mater du Beauté. I probably just totally mispronounced that, but I hope I didn't. Um, and what's kind of interesting is that I am wondering if, if this Chica Mamacita um, has like really oily skin and really dry hair because she's recommending products that I would totally love. Now, if you don't have dry hair or oily skin, maybe this isn't the box this month for you. Um, but I'm actually gonna have to check on her blog and see what she says about that because maybe we have like the same stuff because this is all her recommendations, but I like them. Since she put OPI in there, I approve. Um, what is this? This is Rodriguez for her. Oh, it's an Eau de Toilet. This is a perfume spray or a mini perfume spray. Let's see if it smells like flowers or if it smells like butt. Hmm. Here we are. Oh, this is actually nice. I'm a big fan of floral perfumes. This smells a little bit floral, but a little bit spicy. It smells a little bit older, um, kind of like something that, I don't know, I wouldn't smell on someone going to school, but I actually do like this. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read up on it um, because it's kind of a mysterious scent, but it's for her. And this is a sample. So yeah, I love you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this. This is just what the glossy box looks like with all the stuff inside. All this stuff is usually tucked underneath this little tissue paper. Um, but it's got like all this fuzz. So watch out because it is like a confetti party in your house. You open this up and it flies everywhere and then your cat tries to eat it and you're like, no kitty, don't eat it. You're gonna get intestinal blockage. So be careful when opening it. But all your goodies are stuffed in here and it's seriously like a birthday in your mailbox every month. So. I love you guys. I love the man repeller. Um, please let me know what you think if you've tried any of these products or if you got the same glossy box but you got a couple different shades or a couple, you know, different colors. Um, be sure to tell me what was in yours. So, love you guys. Hope that you enjoyed this and I can't wait to talk to y'all soon. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.